Let's do it. <laughs> so the first plugin that I really love is the L18 limiter. You can limit a lot without sounding it squashed, basically, mm -hmm. a lot more than you you would with um, normal plugins. But I use it mainly, well, I use a bit of, I use it in there with a bit of limiting because I had like three, about three dB of gain. So it's, you can see it's limiting a little in the chorus. You can see that. So just a, a little, like maybe one and a half, two dBs um, of gain reduction. But what I love about it is with a qu quick release and soft knee, um, so it's not squashing the transients or, you mm. know, because I, I, I still like to keep things, especially on this track, quite airy. Mm -hmm. um, so so You're controlling the dynamic, and st but yet still keeping yes. it. And yeah, and still I don't, I don't want it to sound squashed or, or really compressed. Um, but the great thing about it is the this color function that can you can adjust the the, the sort of the brightness of, of your mix or your master, and you can add a lot of it, and it still sounds really nice. Mm -hmm. And it's really you have to be careful because you get addicted to it a bit. So <laughs> so it's like oh that's you know like if you sprinkle sugar on something and mm -hmm. it's like oh well I'm I'm gonna put a bit more of that a bit more a bit more and then. I think after a while it's a bit, a bit too bright, but overcooked over, quite literally. Yeah, <laughs> literally, but so we can we can hear what that does um, by sort of bypassing it, and then we can bypass the the whole unit as well to see what difference it makes on on my mix bus. And if if I would have sent it to uh, a, a diff, uh, another mastering engineer, I would leave that on because I. I even though it's a limiter, this is part of the mix sound. Yeah. You've mixed into it yes. rather than applied it yeah. as a as a, a loudness yeah, or, a, yeah. or a, a, a mastering tool. So I I really love the sound that it brings, and it just lifts the vocal slightly as well um, somehow. So it, that it just magic fairy dust. Yeah. So it's like that. That stays. Uh, maybe I would put the gain down to maybe one dB, so it's to leave a bit more headroom. But I would leave I definitely would leave the collar on, and 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 leave that printed definitely if I send it to to get so it let's, mastered. Let's hear it. So I'll play a chorus. I think it's a bit more significant on that. So we can, I think it's it's already, I mix quite bright. So it's already, the, the overall is quite bright. So I wouldn't push it too much um, further than that. But we can have a, a quick a quick play with the color to see like how much you can add and also take take out as well mm -hmm. if, you, if you wanted to. So that's a great, I think for mastering, that's a great, great thing if you, if you have it over a few songs and just to really sort of blend you know, what the mastering engineer do on an album, for example, really even now, you know, maybe songs that have been mixed by different mixers and mm. have different brightness and everything. And I think that's a great, instead of just EQing it, I think that that really Co stuff together. Yeah, co makes it makes, co co cohesive. Makes the individual tracks a cohesive album. Sort exactly. Of. Yeah. So I'll, I'll just put a bit more of it and a bit less as well so we can hear that what that does. Lost before, but I never learned my lesson.
handy if they wanted to go a bit more indie and a bit less pop. I think it's it's mixed quite in the in the pop way, so mm -hmm. it's quite bright. But if they wanted to be more indie, then I would do that. I would just put the color down a little bit, and um, so I've, I've, I I really love this, and I use it now all the time on all my master bus.